on the SoCal PR. Nitro number 10 on the SoCal PR. They are the one and two seats today. But to start it off, we have USC Ogi versus Sway. Falco versus Ganon. I know that Ogi has been going back and forth between Falco and Lucina. So Falco pick does not work out. We could be seeing Lucina directly afterwards. But here we go to start it off. First match of Hollywood Action Tuesdays number 80. We're going to start off on PS2. This is a very interesting matchup because Falco's stun on those lasers is going to be critical in this matchup, just stopping Ganon from approaching and letting him do the first move whenever he sees fit. Ogi starts out well, 64% unanswered. Just going to hide underneath the platforms. Sway has to take advantage of some of these horizontal moves. These Falcon, uh, these Falco, you know, approaches cannot deter him. Already 112%. We could be seeing a zero to death, and we are Sway already in trouble. Ohigi looking very, very good to start off. And Ogi is not slowing down, continuing the pressure. Goes for up throw into the nair as well. He's just powering through. Sway has barely gotten even a hit in. This could be up fast. The up tilt into the up air, of course. Falcon, Falco's best combo starter. The down smash as well. He's really feeling himself now. So confident. Barely misses with the Doria. And he will have that up throw back air. Or up tilt back air, rather. To seal it out. Sway already falling behind and it's barely even started. Ogi ripping through this man. The down smash will not connect and that's an easy grab punish for Ogi. Continuing the pressure, charging a fair at ledge, a uh, forward smash at ledge rather. There's the jab and now Ogi is just a matter of time. The fair will bring him off stage and that is going to be it. A three stock for Ogi to start this off. That has to be pretty close to ideal. I'm not sure whether it was just matchup inexperience for Sway, but one way or another, he just couldn't get anything started. Looks like we will be potentially seeing a switch in stage here. We're going to a random Omega variant. No, it looks like we'll be going to Smashville instead. For Ogi. I think game two just has to be about maintaining the same rhythm he started with in game one. Ganon is only a viable character if you're able to get in in the first place. And between some of this zoning pressure, these calculated attempts to actually move inwards from Ogi, that's just something that Sway was unable to do. Starts off well, but now Sway has already found himself in. He's holding shield. That's a much better start. Being much more careful. He's backing up. He's using his lateral movement. Ogi, meanwhile, just trying to platform trap him. You can see these up airs coming in at a much higher frequency already than game one. Up throw into the fair, but falls out of it. And now that wizard's foot from Ganon wanted to go for the spike as well, but not quite. Gets him into the down smash, though. Sway takes the first stock after getting three stock last game. Already a much better start for him. Has to be careful, though. Is trapped off stage. Going to have to maneuver around these Falcon lasers. Maintain the jump, but that will be it. Falco will make it back, and Ogi only taking 1.2%, perhaps just from being out of frame. And now he will start off with these fares. Confident that what happened in game one may happen again. Good get up attack from Ogi. Just read that Sway was staying in the same position and just didn't want to move didn't have to. You can tell that Sway is, you know, perhaps playing a bit more cautiously offstage than he was in game one. Perhaps not 
throwing out an immediate aerial option, timing this better to dissuade Falco from going off stage. The down smash will take him. Oh, and no. He had the jump, though. Good tech from Ogi. And the side B will not make up the distance. He needs to sway down, but not out. The dash attack will send Falco to 112%. Ogi has to pick this getup attack. Doesn't have to, in fact, he, daps, he dips back. The fair will send him back, and he just has to be so much more careful because that was a regrab. That was prime back air territory, and now this may do it. Gets the edge guard, but doesn't send him the angle he wanted. Ogi will have to do a little bit more work, but the back air will finally finish it out. Ogi, perhaps not as comfortable as game one, but. A win is a win nonetheless. He takes it 2-0 over Sway. A very, very calm. After a bit of a rocky start, he managed to find his footing and cruise through. And showing how, you know, how inexperience, how the inability to get in with Ganon as a character can really harm you, harm you in the short run.